show me you live with a man without telling me you live with a man hey he trained yesterday and i i think he just figured the only other place that this jacket would dry is in the living room right when you enter the living room that's where it will dry so this morning when i was coming to the living room i saw this and i was a bit scared i was like who's this man that is standing at the door kumbe it's his jacket anyway it is well it is well good morning guys good morning welcome back to a new vlog it's sunday it's very very chilly guys i woke up like 30 minutes ago and i've just been sitting i was taking some water just to make sure that my system is up and running i'm really trying to avoid eating uh anything before i have my system like uh jump started like i need i needed to have started before i put any solid things inside so i've been taking warm water every morning thank you so much for all our new subscribers thank you for all our returning subscribers i really appreciate all of your uh, love and all of your support so guys i moved this plant from the bedroom to the living room it's a four plant uh, and that pot was initially outside with, an, with another plant that died so i removed that dead plant immediately and i replaced uh, it with this four plant i don't want any dead thing around me so i just decided to just any dead plant that's around me i'm going to get rid of it so that's when i this idea came to me and i decided to put the four plant into this planter and i think it looks so good i only forgot to wipe it guys i haven't wiped it and yesterday i did all that cleaning i didn't even remember to wipe this guys so i'm using this it's a sample sized uh, cleanser by vichy it's the nomadam uh, phyto solution gel purifiant intense so this is the one i'm using it's a sample size that we were gifted i'm going to use this to wash my face guys so i'm preparing to take a shower this month is so cold you know june is the month i was born and I'm, i was just thinking my mom gave birth to me in this month of june actually it will be this week the coming week and with how cold it is how did she manage to keep me warm and you know those days i don't think pampas was i don't know i don't know the history of pampas guys i don't know whether pampas was there or it was too expensive for them to afford it uh in the 90s so my mom was washing nappies <laughs> i'm telling you mothers mothers are just the best mothers are blessed mother may they live to enjoy the fruits of their labor like in this weather your mother has given birth i was the first child i am the first child girl so my her first child came in this month a very cold gloomy depressing month because of the weather guys i'm just I, i'm just thinking about it right now when i wanted to take a shower because of how cold it is so big up mom big up you did a good job may god bless you also guys the what is this called showering cap this one that i have on i got this from super cosmetics a long time ago let me tell you this shower cap is the best it is multi it is two sided this side and this side but i've had this for like i don't know whether to say two years it's never torn it's never it's just intact i really really love uh this uh shower cap and it was i think about 300 shillings and when i was buying it i was like i'm buying a shower cap for 300 shillings now i know why now i know why this thing i really really love it so i'm done now actually guys i'm watching nomsa mzozo i really love south african youtubers i love them nomsa nomsa there's namla there's zizi there's tandy there's christina gama i really enjoy uh, their content so i want to get my shower ready and then i uh, will chat so this is the moisturizer that i use during the day I also use this uh, sunscreen by La Roche. This is the more uh, the body cream that I use. This was a gift from my mom. And this is uh, the deodorant that I use. It's for men, but I like it. it lasts longer uh, and I really love uh, the scent. So these are the products that I use after my shower.
so guys i uh, have now showered i feel so good although this weather guys no 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 no, no. what hey i've never seen such a weather before one moment it's shining the next moment it's raining next moment it's freezing hey it keeps moving from mood to mood mood to mood so anyway guys this morning <laughs> speaking of birthdays and mothers and what I also I know I don't I don't talk about this a lot but I think everyone once you get married you also you want kids you do want kids and it's one of the things you pray uh to God to give you some get without praying you know some just get you understand and some don't get no matter the prayers and some get after so many years of prayers so it's been something that is on my mind as much as I do not talk about it but that is a subject that I've left completely to God. The Bible says that kids are a gift from God. He is the one who gives. So a woman and a man might be okay. They might be fine. Everything is working as it's supposed to be. And still, they don't, uh, they don't have. So what then is the explanation for that? That then just shows you that God is the one who gives uh, kids to people. And let no one pressure you or oh, why are you not having kids why are you not uh, you've been married for this number of years so why don't you just have children and you know when people are making these comments they don't realize that even you too this thing is also uh stressing the both of you it's not that it's easy you're also wondering like why isn't it happening why is it not happening for me? It's happening for others. When will it be my turn? Like, God, why me? Why this? Why that? And, and you know, pressures from people can really cause even a relationship that was healthy to start crumbling. So what my partner and I decided was we are not going to allow any pressures from outside to cause us to be like under a lot of pressure and start feeling anxiety and start asking God why do we don't have, why we don't do this. We decided that we are going to live our lives as God has seen it fit. If he has chosen to bless us at this time, he will be the one to bless us at that time. Before that time, what can we do? We can still enjoy our lives. It's not that when you have kids is when you live a full life. Or it's not that when you have kids, you do not live a full life. So it's where you are. You try to live a uh, life where you are at with what you have. So there are so many other things you can do as a couple to like segment your relationship or to make your relationship a healthy one there are so many other there are people with kids and their relationship is not working the people with kids and their relationship is working so it depends with the couple guys anyway uh we are not receiving any pressure from our family both our families are very supportive they support us uh they've never pressured us even one time they've always been like when god gives you we will be happy when god gives you uh it will it will happen in god's time so guys i just thought about it this morning when now it's very close to my birthday actually my husband and my and myself share a birthday month uh we are both born in june we are both first borns i just think that was quite uh a coincidence but anyway that was just a small chit chat that i had to discuss with you this morning it it was what came to mind uh, when I just thought about birthdays and whatnot. So I think to everyone else, never pressure yourself. Everything will work in God's time. No matter what people are saying about you, let them say. You don't know the circumstances that they have with their kids. You don't know what they are going through with those children. You do not have yet. So does that mean that your life is over? Does that mean that your life is finished? No. Everything will work at the perfect time of God. In his time, the Bible says, I, the Lord, shall make it happen. So... We are blessed. If you are a mother who is in waiting, if you are a if if you are a mother who is in waiting maybe for a second child and you haven't gotten a second child for a long time, be encouraged. If you are a person and you've never been a mother before, like you've never carried your own child in the womb, God knows and God will give you. And also, guys, it, you don't have to have your own children to be a mother. You can also be a mother to your nieces, to your nephews, to your siblings. So you, we all play uh, fatherly roles or motherly roles depending on where we find ourselves but as we wait let not the pressures of people uh, make you question god make you question your femininity make you question your fertility 
All these things are in the hands of God. So that is my sermon of Sunday. It has even ministered to me as well. I've even received the word. I should even remove an offering. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you uh, later. And I want to just dress up very quickly. I want to dress up warmly. Let me show you some of the things that I actually got that are very warm. I recently thrifted some very warm pieces like this. I don't know whether you can see it. It's a cream uh, pant. All, it goes all the way down like that. This is so warm and it's a sweater fabric. I don't know whether uh, the camera is able to show. It's a feather. It's a sweater fabric. This is so warm. I'm so happy I got this and this was thrifted, guys. Just look at the texture. I really, really love this texture. Really, really love this. This is so warm. The other warm item that I got are these uh, also gray. This is also in a sweater uh sweater fabric these were thrifted guys so don't ask me where i got these were thrifted they were thrifted as you can see it's a warm uh, fabric sweater uh this one is shorter than the other one it's in this um i've worn this before guys so it's in that uh texture the other thing that i got is this black and white uh is it black and white or this is a cream I think it's a cream and a black striped, guys. I could not leave this, guys. As much as I wanted one that had buttons, but this one did not come with buttons. It's stretchy. It's so nice, guys. Just look at that. The station, use your eyes, guys. You know thrifting is about your taste and your eyes. So this is another very warm, very nice sweater. I really love this sweater. The next one, I, I shared with you this, uh, like during my exam week i wore it in one of those uh days guys so it's a really really warm sweater as well it's a black and white that's the way it is it has some lace over here then this is the white and it has some pretty pretty nice uh buttons this is what attracted me to the sweater can it focus anyway this is what attracted me to the sweater and it's a very warm and cuddly guys it's uh what the time what's the time uh it's 1 30 and i've just finished studying i want to take a break and have lunch it's still as chilly as like when you look outside it looks like it's 7 a.m it's cold so i made some pilau yesterday and this is the pilau i made it it is a uh, beef and potatoes uh pilau it looks so nice i didn't even pack it into the containers we just ate and then the rest i put in the fridge so let me just put this now into storage containers while i serve something for me uh for lunch but the pilau turned out so nice i really really we all we enjoyed the rice uh completely so let me serve we'll show you what i end up eating so I've served uh, the rice. This is the pilau. And one thing about me, if my rice does not burn like this, I don't really like it because it has to be a bit smoky for me to enjoy uh, the pilau. So this is the pilau. Then I've packed up all of these uh, for uh, storing in the fridge for the coming week. 
so yeah guys that's what i want to do right now i want to have also a hot beverage it's very very cold outside i mean it's this cold i usually take a lot of hot beverages so that's what i want to do uh right now So I'm going to be using the same cup that I used in the morning because who has the time to use 10 different cups whenever I want to have coffee. And who's going to wash them? Who's going to wash them? So, no. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Don't cry. I'm having uh, the mac coffee. Today, this is my second cup of coffee today. Hey. Also, my tripod, my tripod uh, broke, so I need to buy another one, a smaller one. Because nowadays, the things I'm using to drop this camera when I'm doing like shots that are this low are just crazy crazy so the other ones are good but i need a shorter one for these kinds of short and also when i'm going to the restaurant i'm having to prop you guys using tomato sauce i'm having to prop you guys using uh, the sugar dish i'm just using the craziest of things to prop you guys so i have to get a smaller tripod um yeah so let me enjoy my lunch my lunch uh, and i will catch you guys later also guys whenever i use my microwave after i've used it i leave it open so that air uh, goes inside because sometimes the microwaves can really really smell when you're using them and you're closing them immediately so i use it after i've warmed something after like it's gotten air yes so that's one of the things i do to make sure the fridge is not the fridge the microwave uh, gets some air and does not smell also i clean it every week using uh, vinegar and uh, hot water and a cloth just to wipe it and then i will wash that dish then also i need to get like a cover for like when i'm putting like stews into the microwave sometimes when it's microwaving it splatters around so i need like the cover i think i'll get that so yes guys let me eat i'm so hungry you wouldn't say i had but in the morning i did have two matoke pieces so that was not so filling so it's justifiable for me to be hungry now let me eat guys we'll talk guys this is the outfit of the day i wore uh, this shirt it's my husband it's very warm then i just put on this uh, black spaghetti dress it goes all the way down then i paired it with those um rubber rubber shoes or batangomas so this is going to be my outfit of today today i have a full packed day i have exams in the morning and in the afternoon so i will talk to you later <laughs> so good morning guys um yeah today is the last day of the exams i'm so happy i'm so excited it was sunny in the morning and then now it's very chilly again i don't understand what this june is doing so anyway i want to show you the outfit that i'm going to wear i'm so happy and excited that today marks the end of the examinations uh for me in terms of that course i'm so happy and i'm so excited and i thank god and i'm very grateful that i was able to gift myself this um like education that i was able to do it for myself there are so many things that have happened in my life that were showing me or were an indication that i may never be able to go back to school there are certain things that you have to choose to do for yourself now this is something that i decided to do for myself and i told myself i will have to use my own money and my own resources to be able to provide it for myself that is what i told my partner and that is what 
uh, he was able to abide by. So those were my rules and I told myself I have to earn this and I have to do it for me. I'm so happy it is coming to an end. He has supported me. My family has supported me uh, in their own way. And I'm so happy that finally, guys, um, I'm just happy, guys. So I um, I want to have some... I had some breakfast in the morning. Actually, what time is it? It's midday. I should have said good afternoon. I had breakfast in the morning. I think I showed that to you. Uh, it was like an overnight um, oat, uh, whatever. You saw me prepare it yesterday. So that's what I had in the morning with some coffee. So now I want to have lunch because I have to be there by 2. I know I'll be hungry by the time uh, the exam is over. So because it's really, it goes on until 5. So uh, let me have something in my stomach to help me think while I'm there. So quick outfit of the day is this uh, white t-shirt. I really love white t-shirts and I think I'm going to add more. This red uh, sweater, I've had this sweater for some time. It's just written Balenciaga, but I don't think it's, <laughs> it's Balenciaga. So then I have on this Celine belt. It's, it's not the original. I got this at China Square. Then I have on this skirt. You've seen this skirt before in this vlog. I have on my socks because it's very, very cold in the house. So this is my outfit of today. My face is very bare, guys, because anyway, I'm going, I'm not going there to show anything to anybody. I'm going there to show, <laughs> to prove to myself that I was actually listening when the lecturers were teaching. So that is it, guys. Let me have my lunch. I will speak to you later or I'll probably end the vlog here, guys. Yesterday was my husband's birthday and because of everything that was going on, we were not able to celebrate that. So we just had our usual day. He went to work. Um, I went to school. Um, so we are planning something for the both of us because my birthday is also going to be like in the coming, like how many days? Four days, three days. Yeah, in the next three days. So we will plan something for each other so guys let me just eat i will talk to you later if you have watched to this point i'm so happy thank you thank you if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing if you have been with me throughout this journey this week that i have been uh doing my examinations thank you thank you for all our new subscribers i'm saying thank you i will see you in my next one guys thank you and bye